Greetings, I'm Shad. Out of all the things we've explored, there is one thing above all other things that nearly every adventurer would want to carry a certain amount of, and that's money, gold. And it raises an interesting question. How much gold could an adventurer actually carry? We have gold right here. Ooh, that feels good. The thing is, the thing is, these aren't real gold, but we measured the volume of these coins compared to the weight of gold and found out that these are very close to nearly exact, nearly, it's not exact, but very close to half the weight of what a gold coin of the same size would weigh. Let's figure out how many pouches, just regular coin pouches, we can fill up with uh, the gold coins to see how many pouches it would be. We're not gonna fill these to the top, we're gonna fill them to uh, the convenient level, okay? Where we can pull the drawstring tight, just to weigh this by itself, is 1.3 kilos. Hey, that's one way we can actually- If this was actually gold, look at this, just, if this was real gold, 2.6 kilos. That's a hefty weight. All right, so we have filled up seven pouches and then like, there's still enough slag, it's just these are the, like the convenient level you would have the, um, you know, the, the pouches at. And seven pouches, and that is a thousand gold coins, all right? Think about that. How much money does your adventurer carry on average? Now, this very much depends on the fantasy setting, okay? I know for Dungeons and Dragons, most things usually are always equated with gold coins. And I know some other fantasy settings actually make gold coins far more valuable, like World of Warcraft. And I think that's a much smarter way to do it, because if everything was just like on the gold coin thing, you would end up carrying heaps. But if one gold coin was essentially worth, say, a hundred dollars, we're just making a rough comparison to modern day currency, well, that makes much more sense because then you can carry effectively a lot more, I guess, wealth on you without the inconvenience of weight, all right? Now, if the this gold coin represented, say, like a hundred dollars or depending on what you do, you would be carrying a wealth, like a whole lot. Where effectively, like if we're doing a, a translation of value here, a thousand gold coins would be worth carrying a hundred thousand dollars if if we were just saying the buying power of this single gold coin was about a hundred dollars, you know, buying bearing in the in the comparison. That's a lot of money you're carrying around. And then in that sense, you could effectively get away with an adventure carrying heaps of money. And just like in Skyrim where, you know, when I go and buy something, I have like 10,000, even up to 100,000 gold sometimes. This is what it would look like. But the thing is, the problem with Skyrim and Dungeons and Dragons and other fantasies, usually the buying power of a single gold coin is about equivalent of a single dollar. And that's what these represent. One dollar, one coin, right here. And therefore, if you re actually want to be able to purchase stuff of the higher volume and have the money on you, this is what you would be looking at. And so let's actually see, just with the pouches I have on me, if I can fit a thousand gold coins in my current pouches. That's, that's actually only like half full. Good, good thing about big pouches, hey? So if you can pour that one in there. You know what they say about big pouches? Big booty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dropped a coin. So that is chockers. And I would be too, un I reckon it would be too easy for coins to fall out of that one. So we need to empty it a bit. We need to pay attention to weight as well. Because technically if this was real gold, this would weigh twice as much. I am feeling way down, <laughs> like as a, you know, or adding like uh, maybe eight kilos of weight to me. You honestly feel like, you know. Well, this is the thing. I mean, I'm wearing uh, my foam brigandine, not the metal one. Mm. But if this was the metal one, I'd already have like, I forget how much it was, I think it was nine kilos, the breastplate, and then on top of extra weight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can feel the weight. Like, I feel more weighed down than when I'm wearing my metal brigandine. That's a bit weird. And so I think it might weigh way more than the brigandine. Like, a, it could have been closer to 10 kilos just in the comparison, right? Like, but I have a thousand gold on me right now. It's heavy. It's legitimately heavy, like, and uncomfortable. And the problem is, if this was real gold, it would be twice as much. 
So one of the other things that I want to discover with this test is what is the convenient amount of gold that would be easy to carry with you in gold coins and stuff? Because I think right now, this is too much. I already feel two way down and it's only half the weight it should be. But in terms of the amounts of gold you could carry with you without having like a separate backpack, just normal, you know, gold pouches here and stuff. A thousand is pretty, is almost at the limit, I think. Because considering the weight is double, the weight is, would be double what I'm currently wearing, a thousand really is getting up there. And so if you're an adventurer and you uh, discover a chest full of gold, okay, if you do not have a pack horse with you, you're not taking it with you. Yeah? Like imagine two adventurers trying to carry, like even a group, Every single, like there's a group of five adventurers, every single adventurer would need to grab like a corner of this chest. If it was full of gold coins, right? Just to lift it. Then we grab like all the way back. The thing is though, I wouldn't want to go any heavier than what I'm currently wearing, right? I reckon I could manage a hike with this weight. It would be uncomfortable. It's uncomfortably heavy already. But because real gold weighs twice as much, it almost means like the, the cap of the gold you can carry is actually closer to 500. But adventurers are stronger and fitter. And so that I think I would balance out then a thousand. I think a thousand is about it. So for the convenient level of gold, an adventurer would be able to carry with them. There's two kind of um, uh, levels that we can try and figure out. One is by volume and one is by weight. Now, volume is easy, however many that we put in, but then we need to try and account that technically this should weigh twice as much. Or we could put it in by weight, where we only put in, say, 100 coins, and then we double the weight with rocks. I think I'm more interested just to go by volume, and then we're gonna have to a rough ballpark and just say, all right, this would technically weigh twice as much. So we're making piles of 100 here. We're gonna see how much will fit in one of my pouches. And I think, you know, for an adventurer, he could have convenient stuff stored on his other pouches, but because gold is particularly heavy, one pouch, okay, full of gold, depending on how much, would be enough. Hang on. I have a pouch still full of gold coins. <laughs> we didn't empty this one. We'll load up this hundred into this. So I'll just, if we can load up these hundred gold coins. But this is now 200 exactly. So I reckon another hundred would make it overflow. And I like rounding it off. So no, no, leave those there for now, Oz. Because also, this is at a convenient weight. So this is 200 gold coins. And that's at the convenient size. That's like, when I close this off, okay, just like so. Uh, when I bend around and move and stuff, it's not gonna fall out. I think this is fairly secure and fairly convenient. So a couple of things that we can um, learn from just this, okay? One, this is how much uh, 100 gold coins would actually weigh even though there's 200. And so this is either the volume of 200 regular coins or the weight of 100 gold coins, okay? And this is kind of, I think, the convenience average that an adventurer would carry. Huh. So what's that? So Nearly a kilo. Nearly a kilo, just, uh, wait, no. 900 grams. 900 grams times 10. That means it's eight kilos exactly, no, nine kilos exactly, almost. Times 10. No, because that's that's 100 gold coins there, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Nine kilos. A thousand coins is nearly exactly 10, like, so, I know it's short, it's closer to like nine kilos, but, so, if we just weigh both, okay. Yeah, 1.8 kilos. So, we could round it off to two, but, okay, so, 1.8 for 200, so, 200 gold coins of this size would weigh an, weigh an approximate of 3.6 kilos. 3.6 to 4 kilos of gold coins. Rounding it off is the average of around 200 gold coins. Because this has only been dealing with uh, the, the, the glorious gold coin that we see in fantasy all the time. And that's the odd thing. I think this is why people default to gold. Whenever you raid a dragon's hoard or find a chest, it's always in gold. Even if they do have lower currencies, did you ever find a chest full of copper coins? <laughs> like you find four chests full of copper coins. You're like, yeah! 
that equates to just a couple of thousand gold and you're like, oh. But I think we've learned some really interesting stuff with uh, this uh, functional fandom episode. So thank you very much for joining us here. And also uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And until that time, farewell. Thanks for visiting the Shadlands, the place to find quick and easy to watch sword related content. This video was a super cut or clip from a larger Shadiversity video. If you'd like to see the full length video, please click on the provided links and I hope to see you in the future.